We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. I'm today Faithful Acolytes. We take a look at this. And as you can see, it is the Hot Ones Boneless Chicken Bites. There is this thing that says Play the Hot Ones Challenge. See back to play. We will look at that in a second. So we have, you see I did the fancy thing here of substituting this for the Los Calientes on the medium. And so uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. The mild is classic, the super hot is the Apollo three sauce packets. You know what's interesting? There's no warning on this. I wonder if there's gloves in there. Is there gloves in there for touching anything that you put the Apollo on? I don't see a warning at all on this actually. Interesting, very interesting. They do give it an 11 out of 10 up here on the heat level. The Los Calientes is 5 out of 10, this is 2 out of 10. So, the Los Calientes has onions, and we'll go through the ingredients here momentarily, but I'm tossing that one. So, that was in the number 5 position for seasons 6 through 9 on the show, and for season 10 it was number 4. So I went through, it's basically a half a halfway point. So I went through all of the four slot sauces I could find, all of the five slot, all the six slot to see what I had on the shelf. This one was the four slot in season 11. This double take, uh, scotch bonnet mustard. So I'm substituting this in as the midway point because it's, Basically in the same slot, so there you go. All right, and we have a bunch of questions. Is this the challenge? I don't know. So the um, the dynamic duo over at Heat 101 did this as well. They asked their questions to each other. So maybe I will ask those questions to myself. I don't know. I don't know what the challenge is. I can't find it. Even online, I couldn't find it. And um, I guess it's just to go through all the sauces. So this was about 14 bucks at Walmart. And I'll tell you this, I am thrilled to see it because this is 10, this is 10, this is 20 on the Heatness website, which is the only place I've seen these. Actually, I have seen them on Amazon, but they're more expensive. But this is 40 bucks. This covers $40 worth of sauces here in this bag. So I am extraordinarily pleased to see it because if I don't like those sauces, that is 40 bucks that I don't have to spend. Well, I wasn't actually gonna buy the Calientes anyway. So it's more like 30 bucks that I don't have to spend. So, thank you. Thank you guys, I am so pleased. I really, really appreciate this. And, uh, but for now, there's many reviews. There's not really enough sauce of either the Classic or Apollo. To do a full review as far as I'm concerned, so I'm doing a mini review of those. Uh, the link will be in the description below, along with the link for the full review of this one, which will be available in the link below. Of course, this video is going to cover all three of those sauces, if you do go to those links, because everything is cross-linked, and so on and so forth, and so on and so forth. All right, let's look at the ingredients here of the Hot Ones Classic. We've got our balls, Apple cider vinegar, uh, more vinegar, water, garlic, salt, and turmeric. Uh, so it looks like I am going to be getting a whole bunch of <laughs> vaguely mustardy sauces. I didn't realize that the hot ones is turmeric. That might be just there for color. I don't know. But it's so chili our bowl, nothing very spicy there. Uh, let's look at our medium sauce right now, which is this one. 
And we start with, this is a double take, scotch bonnet mustard. Start with yellow deli mustard with various stuff. Then we have orange juice, lime juice, the scotch bonnets, brown sugar, and spices, which I don't know what those are. So we're, I'm gonna open all these. I got the spoon, I'm gonna do the spoon before I even get to the chicken. That of course will be coming up as normal. So this might be a bit of a lengthy video, but uh, we'll see. And the last dab of course is the Apollo pepper vinegar, pep, the Apollo pepper powder, the Apollo, Apollo pepper distillate. So distillate I don't think is quite to extract level. I think it's just more of a reduction possibly. I don't actually know though, I could be I could be way wrong there. So let's uh, let's open this up. I, like I said, I don't know what the actual challenge is, and I'm just trying to you know, throw these all in the air fryer like normal. Let's. Uh, this is two and a half pounds. This whole package here. So, and I am not loving this package at this point. Okay. All right. So this is from, uh, whose chicken chunks are these? John Sewell's. John Sewell's Foods. Whatever John Sewell's is. Um, hey, I don't know. I, I don't know if I've ever had John Sewell's before. They look, you can see they're a good healthy ball size. Actually, I don't know. These might not all fit into my air fryer at once. So I might not be eating this entire thing. Honestly, Look at how small these sauce packets are. Oh, this is... So the, the Apollo is actually quite, quite small. So I don't know exactly uh, how many we're gonna be able to get in there. We're gonna throw those in our magic bag, like usual, to uh, to get these um, coated as much as we can. So, uh... all right, well, let's get this to the air fryer and get going on that and uh, thaw out these sauces except for this one of course we'll just open this one and we will be right back all right so you can see there is the uh chicken ball bite whatever things that are this is what's in the bag less one which i'm going to show you guys in a second uh i noticed something interesting when i was cooking which is that they sort of puffed up like marshmallows very unusual for chicken and I'm extremely nervous that it is probably particle chicken and certainly a ball, not really a natural shape for a chicken. So I am beyond nervous that we're gonna be dealing with some particle chicken here, or, or I guess I should say I am. You would be too if you get this. So I'll, uh, I'll take it for the team on this one. Okay, so this is the classic. Let's just get a look at it. So what I'm gonna do is we're just, oh, look at this. Oh, that's really runny. Oh my gosh, okay, let's put that down. Put that in there so it doesn't go everywhere. Oh, and I just spilled it like an idiot. I was trying so hard not to do that. <laughs> trying so hard. Right, I'm gonna try these all right in a row. So you can see this is, uh, I'm not going to put more in there, save it for the chicken things, but see there's a lot of bits of pepper in there. This is sort of a light orangish sort of red color here. It's a really pretty sauce. It smells really interesting. It smells almost sweet, which is, uh, I think probably the apple cider vinegar, I think is what's giving off that smell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So, uh, okay. So there is the Hot Ones Classic. Like I said, just gonna set it off to the side. Right there. Well, we get to the next thing, which is the Double Take. Scotch Bonnet Mustard Hot Sauce. I don't think this is a hot sauce, but they're obviously calling it a hot sauce, so you guys know my policy on that. Plus it showed up on the show, to my knowledge, as a hot sauce. So we will treat it like one. 
even though I think it's probably going to be a better mustard than a hot sauce. Oh, it smells good. I don't like this color. It's kind of a sort of a baby diarrhea color here. Sort of brownish, yellowish. Not not the uh, good looking sauce, but smells absolutely delicious. So I'm I'm excited. I'm excited about this one. I'm going to be honest. All right, let's put that to the side. Right there. And last, of course, certainly not least, and all I did with these packets, by the way, is I just let them soak in, in hot water. So they just soaked in hot water while I cooked the chicken. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to trust the tear tabs on these things. There's not a lot in this Apollo, so I'm not going to put a whole ton in here. Yeah, it's probably plenty right there. All right, so just enough to get a good taste of it. Very nice sort of tan, light brownish color here. Wow, this sticks incredibly well. You can see the other ones are not sticking well at all. This one's doing okay though. Whoo, wow, I just, I just smell a bad thing. It it smells like a raging super hot. It just it totally just smells like a super hot and not much else. So uh I know what I'm in for there. That's uh probably gonna be not very pleasant. Alright, so last but not least, this is a untinkered with chicken and yeah you can see it is it's a sponge. Man, that's too bad. Yeah, this is a chicken sponge. It is not. <sighs> Two and a half pounds for 14 bucks. I guess what did I expect? But uh, we'll try that solo here uh, momentarily. So in fact, actually, let's just try this first. It's, um... Hmm. Definitely a sponge particle chicken. Um, you know, and that's the thing is, look, here's <laughs> this in the bag. I'm nowhere near going to be fashioning those. That is vile. Definitely, definitely is in some need of some sauce. So, uh, let's, oh wait, I haven't tried these yet. Let's do that. Man, I just, why? <laughs> Why can't I pick this sauce up without pouring it everywhere? Why? Leave me a comment. Okay, Hot Ones Classic. Hmm. Oh. Wow. Very vinegary. Ooh. Apple cider vinegary. <laughs> It's got a it's got a slight bit more heat than I really expected though with just uh, just chili our bowls. I am honestly kind of surprised. A little bit of garlic. I'm not getting much turmeric out of it though. Um, all right, so that one we will throw in here. And this is a quart bag. Obviously not a quart of sauce, but a quart bag, you can see, we could probably get, oh, uh, I imagine we could get, start with six, see how that works. Um, do I need more liquid still? I think six might be it. Okay, all right, there's six of the classic. All right, next is the double take scotch bonnet mustard. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Wow, that is, that's really good. 
That is really good. All right, so this is way punchier than I expected. I I am impressed. Pleasantly surprised too, my dad. All right, six of the mild ones. We're gonna go with four of these. And this is kind of unfortunately a waste of this sauce because you don't really get chickens, but. We have these coated, are we good? I better take a look. Yeah, yeah, they're fine. They're fine, they're fine, they're fine. All right, so, are you guys coming? No, no, it's fine, whatever. Live with yourself. All right. <laughs> I dropped the cat. Oh my God, that was stupid. Boy, you know, I am just struggling with gravity in this video. I'm, there's no way I'm looking that. I don't even want to... I don't even want to touch the Apollo. Don't even want to touch it. Okay, but touch it we will. We are going to go forward with trying this one out. This is the Apollo. Or is it the last dab Apollo? I think it's just Apollo. Or is it? No, it is. It is. The last dab of Apollo sauce. Okay. All right. Uh, last dab it up. Yabba dabba do. Oh. Ah. Woo! Yep. Ah, it's hot. Punchy. Kind of flowery, actually. Bitter. Bitter, super hot. And we'll go with two of these. That's not a pleasant sauce. We don't, I don't enjoy that. All right, see they're well coated. All right. I'm already starting to sweat. That's fine. Okay, so let's go with some questions here. First question. Who is the most annoying person in the room? Well, there is only one person in the room, so I guess that's me by default. I, I can't imagine Sean Evans asking stuff like this. Okay. What celebrity do you think you look most like? <laughs> okay. All right. So let's do this. Let's... Let's get the classics out while I think about that. Wow. This is, uh, apparently there's going to be a video of me suffering. Yeah. Not great. It's a bit sour. Not a lot of heat to this. These chicken things I don't like. The mouthfeel on these is atrocious. All right, celebrities. Uh, Sean Evans, of course. I don't know. I uh, I don't know if I look like any celebrities. My sister said I look like Ethan Hawke once. I don't know how true that is. My sort of hairstyle, beard style, is closer to Jason Statham, for whatever that's worth. Does any of that count? I don't know. Uh, this is just unpleasant. But I saved ten dollars so far this video. Not buying the uh, Hot Ones Classic.
I don't understand what they were going for in this sauce. Let's see if I can get any more in there just because uh, <coughs> these chicken things are slightly less bad with the sauce. Only slightly off. This is, uh, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. The classic, I didn't, uh. Oh, man. I was expecting a lot, something a lot smoother and richer. This is, uh, Neither of those. It's just, it's kind of abrasive. It doesn't have a, a super distinct pepper flavor to it. More of a general pepper flavor, I guess. The, the apple cider vinegar is too much. It's just, it's kind of that is the main flavor. Little tinges of turmeric and garlic. I assume they started with a uh, chili arbol mash. I assume. I don't know. I don't know what they did here. I'm not a fan. All right. That's the classic done. These chicken bites are gnarly. Alright. Questions. I picked this up and I couldn't remember why I picked it up. <laughs> What's your most embarrassing moment? Uh, well, I, I think I'm living through it right now. Which player would you least want to go on vacation with and why? Okay. Which player would I least want to go on vacation with and why? I'm going to think about that. Okay, let's get this sort of out of the way here. And here is our mustard balls. All right. Well, I guess I don't understand the question. Like, what do they mean by player? Like, baseball player, sports player, guitar player? Are they referring to people on the show as players? I don't know. I'm not familiar with every single person that's been on... The show, certainly a lot of them I find irritating. But a lot of them I don't. A lot of them I like quite a bit. <clears throat> it's an interesting cross-section. I don't have respect for the ones that uh, was out, though. That Hall of Shame thing. If you're going to an interview show where you're going to be eating these stupid hot, increasingly hot wings, you're kind of signing up to go for it, you know? And yeah, some of those times it's going to hurt. If you look through the playlist, there's a lot of times where I've eaten the sauce and it's been brutal. This is an outstanding mustard, by the way. I will say, though, I think it is more of a hot sauce. I think it's more of a mustard made hot sauce. Just, it's hard to see. I am going to try it as a regular mustard, but mustards, if you get too punchy with them, and this one is definitely punchy, you, uh, 
you can run into some issues, I guess, with it starting to override the flavor. This one, I think, would be right on the border of that. I do like it, though. As a hot sauce, it is tremendous. This one is every bit as great as the two hot the two hot one sauces aren't. Very, very nice. It's got a nice Dijon aspect to it. Those Scotch bonnets are triumphing, They're outstanding. Uh, very, very, oh yeah, jerk chicken, that would be good with this too. Actually, that would be perfect with this. There is a good degree, just the way everything melts together in here is just so nice. The peppers, the brown sugar, and the mustard. Really a spectacular sauce. Absolute beauty, for sure. All right. Oh. I guess that's the reason I don't interview myself when I'm doing the wing things. <laughs> I've been told here and there that I have a tendency towards being egotistical, but I mean, to me, that's, even if it's true, I'm not saying it is, I'm not saying it's not, that would be a step way too far. All right. A guilty pleasure show you love to watch. Huh. In years past, I probably would have picked wrestling. Uh, there's uh, a lot of cartoons. The uh, Teen Titans Go is a show that I love to like. I'll watch that pretty much any time. But Guilty Pleasure, I suppose, is something that you're supposed to be embarrassed about. And I don't think I have a show that I watch that I'm embarrassed about. So... Other than the hot ones, of course. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Okay, next question. The biggest secret you kept from your parents? <laughs> uh, well, let's think about that. Meanwhile, let's... Let's get to this. This is the last dab, Apollo, to these. Unfortunately, well coated chicken balls. And, uh, oh man, I can smell them from here. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to this. All right, let's just get to it. This is, you know, some of the sauces in the show seem like they're increasingly intended as punishments, like the Beyond Insanity comes to mind. This one I, I would almost put in that category as well. All right. Uh... Biggest secret, I don't know if there really was one from Paris plural because I didn't necessarily have one that I kept from the mutually. But there was just information to each separately I didn't forward along, good God. I'll leave it at that. It could, it, there's a lot of different ones. I don't know what would have been biggest, but oh, I'm, uh, I'm sweating. This is not. This is not a pleasant sauce, <laughs> but it's not unholy awful like Beyond Insanity. It's just very, very. Super hotty. But it isn't really like Reapers. We'll start with the 
heartbeat in your ear thing. This one isn't quite to that level. Uh, it's definitely hot. Very, very hot. Uh, bit bitter. Of course, as well. So, uh, all right. I guess that's a challenge, right? Is it? I don't know. Challenge is not challenge is not really laid out very well. I answered the questions. I went through all the packets except for the onion one, including the Apollo. Ah, very very hot. Yeah, Reaper is still. Hurtier though, if that makes sense. Flavor wise, Apollo Fatali strike me as similar, but uh, yeah, it's hot, definitely. So, ah, it's building too, perfect. Ah. <laughs> anyway, there you have the hot ones, boneless chicken bites. The Hot Ones Challenge, I guess, in the can. If you're not experienced chili head, stay away from the Apollo. You will get hurt. You will absolutely regret that. <laughs> um, classic isn't very good. So I wouldn't do this again. I would not get this as a food item. I really probably won't ever see you getting any. I don't know why they just didn't do it with wings. I just, it seems so obvious. But, what do I know, I guess, so. Anyway, there you have it. The Hot Ones Boneless Chicken Bites with the Double Take Scotch Bonnet Mustard Hot Sauce subbing in for Los Calientes. Now go forth, in peace, to serve the planet.